a special guest, the Forum Filmcast. My name's Matthew Reeves, and I'm a student of film at La Sierra University. All right, good to have you. Thanks. Hi. Who are you? Carolyn. Uh, <laughs> Carolyn is an old, old uh, Forum Filmcast star. She hit AFI hard, and uh, she's going to go every year now. Absolutely. Uh, we just saw the Argentinian potential representative of the Oscars, their entry for a foreign language film. The name of the movie is The German Doctor. This movie is based on history. It's the story of uh, a man named Mangele. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, a German man. At this period of his life, he's in Argentina, and we're introduced to him in a mysterious way. He's uh, befriending a family and comes to spend some time uh, living in one of their guest rooms for a period of time. This is Bariloche, Argentina. It's a, a portion of Argentina that resembles Switzerland in many ways. You have beautiful lakes, snow-capped mountains. We'll talk more in spoilers, but just give us your general reaction to the movie. Um, I enjoyed the directing. I liked the pacing of the film. I was thoroughly uh, captivated by the movie's uh, plot for the most part. I did feel that the ending fizzled. It did not have a climax, and I felt let down and disappointed. Would you recommend this to anyone? Is there anyone you know that would enjoy this movie? Probably foreign film buffs. Okay. Um, it's so not going to be a movie, movie geeks. geeks. It's not going to be a mainstream audience. All right. And I, I felt some of the same way. I felt that the storyline was missing key important points. And if you didn't know the history before you watched the movie, it, it wouldn't make sense. Uh, mm. They didn't clearly explain uh, who the doctor was and and why he was there and and what his history was. And so as you're watching it, you're, you're pretty much at a loss. I agree in general with what you guys said. I do want to mention there are positive point aspects of this movie, mm -hmm. even though I think the audience I could re recommend it to is small. Cinematography was fine. I think the editing, so the individual shots, I think the sh shot length was fine. Overall, I think the movie was a bit too long, maybe 20% too long. Um, so the acting's great. Yeah, the little girl was really good. But uh, I agree with you in that this is based on history, and by the end of the movie, I really want to know a bit more because the movie did not convince me that this guy was as evil as, as he was based on four sentences in the Wikipedia, and that's, that disappointed me after I looked this guy up in the, in the Wikipedia. We'll talk more in spoilers, which is now. Mengele was a war criminal at concentration camps during World War II. This was a man in charge of deciding life or death to uh, Jewish prisoners. Is this prisoner going to death or are they going to be uh, going to the labor camps? He also did medical experimentation. A lot of this is alluded to and uh, there is a comment by a character at the end of the movie that Oh, he does this all the time. He's done experiments just as he's doing on your family. In the story, he comes across this family that has an especially short daughter. In the beginning of the movie, he estimates that she's nine years old, 10 years old, uh, when in fact she's 12 years old. Then he starts drawing growth charts and discovers he, she's something like at the two percentile mark. Extremely short. This girl's always made fun of because of her short stature. He offers growth hormone, which I think is pretty clear at this point, uh, is experimental, would not be considered standard of care. He does this by convincing first the girl herself, the 12 year old girl, then the mother, and together they agree to do this treatment uh, behind the back of the father. And throughout most of the movie, the father carries a resentment for uh, the doctor I feel like it's not based on fact, it's more of a gut feeling he has. Uh, it doesn't seem justified until the revelation happens at the end. Any standout scenes for you? The opening scene, we're introduced in the beginning of the film to two cars with the, two, with the family and the German doctor. I think that the scene is very pensive, it puts you on edge, and it pretty much sets the film, what with the uh, ominous weather, the constant look of the father looking in his rearview mirror, seeing the German doctor, the German doctor looking at them, it pretty much sets the mood for the rest of the film. I did, I did like that opening scene as well. I really like one of the final scenes after the mother is given birth to twins 
and the twins are having a hard time breathing and suckling and they show a baby on the breast and the baby is having a hard time uh, attaching and how they were able to pull that scene off I have no idea pretty amazing great great Oscars for the infants yes <laughs> it's spectacular I really like that and they were able to show the baby having a hard time breathing and I'm not sure how they pulled that one off either. And I know you had commented before and I agree with you I didn't find certain uh, scenes with snow to be convincing it looked kind of like foam but in general the look of the movie was not a, a huge problem they had a scene with a doll factory and mm -hmm. it looked very convincing in general the look of the movie was was great mm -hmm. there were some amazing beautiful beautiful scenery shots one thing that i thought it, it was lacking is if it just had done a few flashbacks to fill in the history a bit i think it would have been a superb movie yeah i agree it needed flashbacks at too. least at the end because at the end you have text kind of giving some historical information Text is okay, but I think some of that could have been portrayed cinematically in, in a superior fashion. Yeah, I agree. There was a there was a certain character in the film, a female, who is, her death is hinted at right towards the end of the film, but we only find out that it was carried out in a quick flash of text. Given that the film lacked a certain climax, I feel yeah, that a quick flash of image could be right. Effective. It would have been good to have seen that as the at least that be the climax of the film. All right, guys, subscribe from filmcast.com and thanks. To our guests. Thank you for having us. Cheers. Cheers.